Hi ladies and gentlemen, my name is Steven. I have a YouTube channel called Redolescence and I wanna start things off, of course, by thanking my good friend Chad from the channel A Gentleman's Journey for inviting me to be a part of this collaboration. It's always a pleasure for me to collaborate with you, Chad. And thank you for bringing me on board, especially for such a cool idea. One was actually started a few years ago by another gentleman in the community. His name was Brandon, and he has a channel called Cutlass Supreme SL. He is no longer active here on YouTube, but such a cool idea, which is very sort of basketball themed, and it's called the starting lineup. So what fragrances would you include in your starting lineup for the fall slash autumn of 2020 and of course I am sticking to exclusively designer choices here so we have six different fragrances for six different categories of course Chad I don't know what your picks are going to be I'm wondering if there's any overlap and I'm also really excited to see what you selected as well so without further ado let's go ahead and get it started and we will start with the first category which is work now my work fragrance is one that I chose very carefully because one thing that I often do is I associate certain memories with different fragrances. And so work is a place where sometimes you have good days, you have great days, sometimes you have anxiety filled days and not so good days. So I didn't want to wear a fragrance with which I have already attached some very fond memories. So I chose a new fragrance, one that I think would be very work and very office appropriate, but one that I think has a nice bit of spice and sweetness that would work well in the autumn. So the first fragrance that I chose as my work scent is John Barbados 20 or John Barbados XX. So it's a Roman numeral and it stands for 20. This is a fragrance that is made to commemorate uh, the 20th anniversary of the brand. And this one has a red apple note in the opening, but it also has some coffee and some cardamom. So it has some warmth, it has some depth, it has a little bit of spice, but it has this overarching sweetness that is on account of that red apple note. So the first one on my list is John Barbados 20, and this is my work scent in my starting lineup. My work set is gonna be something that's easy to wear and not offensive, something that's very mass appealing. I work in an environment or just a workplace where fragrances are not supposed to be worn. So it's a fragrance free environment. Yet at the end of the shift, I am one giant niche fragrance. I, I, I just smell animalistic, dirty, sweaty, all kinds of stuff. I, I like, and even sometimes I smell like a Doritos. Well, my feet smell like Doritos. Yet this fragrance is very safe, it's not offensive, it is mass appealing, and it's gonna be a fragrance more for myself and not really for people around me. That's what I don't want. This is gonna be Kenneth Cole RSVP for him. This was once discontinued and I believe the company brought this one back. So the older bottle, which I did have years ago, because this was one of my favorite fragrances back then, I was uh, decreasing the collection, sold it, and I, ended up, and I ended up getting it once again. But the older bottle is gonna be more of a reddish, brown, burgundy type of bottle. This one here is just something, yeah, whatever. But the note breakdown for this one here are, is vetiver, iris, you're gonna get some orchids, sandalwood, and there's some pepper, and there's also some gaiac wood, I believe, or maybe some cedar. This is just woods upon woods with a sprinkle and a dash of pepper or spices and some sweetness. I'm not sure where that sweetness comes from, but there is a touch of sweetness from it. This is not going to be a projector. So if you want something that's gonna fill the room, stay away from this one. I don't want something that's gonna be filling the room. I don't want people in my personal space. I deal with the general public and I want people to leave me the hell alone because I'm one of those types of civil servants. Yeah, this is gonna be something that's very inoffensive. And because I work in a fragrance-free environment, this is something that I want to wear that's not going to offend people. And if somebody does smell it, someone of a higher position in my workplace, then I don't wanna really be written up or have a hot day with them because I do have a bit of a, a mouth on me and uh, that speaks his mind. So uh, the less that I deal with management and the union and everything else, more to myself, the better it is for me. So for my work set is going to be Kenneth Cole RSVP. The next fragrance that I wish to talk about is my formal fragrance. So whenever I'm putting on a suit and tie or a shirt and tie, and I want to put on something that's unique, 
it will get me noticed something that is appropriate for the fall but something that i think is one that i personally like and i personally enjoy because it's one thing to wear a fragrance that you think will do well in a, a specific occasion or season it's another thing to find a fragrance that you actually love right and that you feel passionate about wearing and i think that this is such a gorgeous fragrance and i believe in the past chad we've done a video on this company as well maybe even this exact fragrance and this is one that I personally love and I have been enjoying a lot. This is actually uh, my second or third bottle in my collection because my stepfather actually wears this fragrance a lot as well. And this one by the company Zadig and Voltaire is called This Is Him. Super unique and cool looking bottle. This fragrance has notes of vanilla, incense. It has black pepper, grapefruit. So it's a little peppery. It's a little fresh in the opening, but there is this dominant vanilla and incense quality about it. Really unique. It will turn heads. Very unique and different odor profile. So if you want a new experience, something very different from what you've smelled in the past, definitely check out This Is Him by Zadig and Voltaire. This is my formal fragrance. My formal scent, I want something that's going to be very different. I'm not all about the artistry, but this one is a little bit different, yet at the same time it's mass appealing and it's a little bit safe. This is going to be Ferrari's Silver Essence. Unfortunately, I believe that this one is discontinued and it's becoming a little bit harder to find, so you might have to blind buy it in order to smell it. I don't generally condone blind buying or recommending it, I should say. But the note breakdown for this one here is going to be kayak wood, it's going to be some incense, some coconuts, there's going to be some cinnamon, nutmeg, and birch. This is a woody, smoky, incense-y type of scent with a creamy, milky coconut. The coconut really just adds a unique touch and flair to this type of scent. This is a masculine scent with a playful side. So I'm not really into like incense fragrances. They generally don't really work on my skin. But the coconut to this one here is actually quite nice. The coconut does kind of tone it down with that creamy and milkiness, yet this is a masculine type of scent that has that mature vibe, that classy, elegant, sophisticated vibe, but just someone who knows when to have a little bit of fun and let his guard down. This is going to last about seven to eight hours, and it's just a very underrated scent. So the next fragrance that I want to talk about here is my date night fragrance. Now when you think of going on a date, you want to wear something that's a little bit sweeter. You want to wear something that comes across smelling sensual, addictive, alluring. And when I looked at this fragrance, the ambrette seed, that musk mallow that's in here, adds a really nice bit of sweetness, but it's also harmonized with this tonka bean note. And I think it would make for a perfect date night fragrance in the fall slash autumn of 2020. This one by the car company Bentley is called Majestic Cashmere and it's from a collection entitled Beyond the Collection. And I love the look of the bottle. This is what one would consider niche quality even though it comes from a designer car brand. And again, it has a nice bit of sweetness. It's really smooth, it's really creamy. If you like fragrances like By the Fireplace by Maison Martin Margiela, it kind of has a similar vibe going on in here, that touch of sweetness. Nothing smoky or daring about it. It's really smooth, addictive, sensual, and alluring. And if you haven't tried it, it's definitely one that I would highly recommend. My date scent, I want something that's gonna be sexy, fun, flirtatious, but at the same time could be serious. This really does get a lot of com comparisons to a very popular scent, and that's gonna be Armani's Code. But you're not paying for the code and the Armani name itself. This is gonna be Xenia's Intenso. This is almost identical. I would say this is like 85 to 90% similarities to this one here. But the note breakdown for this one here is Iris, Cardamom, Tonka Bean, which Tonka bean is very prominent in all of, all of the codes. You're also gonna get vetiver, musk, and citruses. This is a fragrance where you could dress it down to something that's casual, to something that's black tie, something that's tuxedo-esque. But this, for me, is just gonna be a day night. I want something that's serious, but at the same time that's fun, that's sweet, that's gonna garner me a little bit of attention and compliments from the wife. This one here is a definite cheapie. It's a great go-to. $30, $40 at the most. This is about six to seven hours. 
The next fragrance on this list is my Daring fragrance. And this is one that I wear sparingly, but whenever I do, I'm reminded of how much I love it. And I hit myself over the head because I, I tell myself I should be wearing this one a lot more often. And this is of course a leather dominant fragrance. And this one by the company Tom Ford is called Ombre Leather. Now this is quite different of course from Ombre Leather 16, which was a previous iteration that was part of the private blend line. This is part of the signature line. And you're gonna get a similar fruity opening with this one. You're going to get that leather note, but it's also accented by some spices, namely cardamom, if I'm not mistaken. It's a really smooth, luxurious smelling leather note uh, that you're gonna get in this fragrance. And the reason why I've decided to make it my daring scent as part of my starting lineup is because I find that leather accord or leather notes are typically of a more daring nature. There were, of course, a few fragrances that I've could've, I could have included in this spot. Another one is by the company Moschino. It's called Toy Boy. That's a very spicy rose scent. I almost made that my daring scent, but I find myself wearing this one far more often than I wear Moschino Toy Boy. So I thought it would be a bit more apropos to include this fragrance as my daring scent in my starting lineup. For my daring scent, well, this bitch doesn't do daring. So Steven, back to you. So the next fragrance that I want to talk about is my Close Encounter fragrance. And this is when you know you're going to create an intimate bubble. It's something that is very sort of erotic and sensual. You want to be in very close proximity with somebody else presumably your significant other, and who knows, something might happen when you blow out the candles, turn off the lights, and crank up the, uh, the uh, Marvin Gaye, right? But anyway, this is a beautiful fragrance. I've been wearing this one for many, many, many years, and it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time. The bottle that I will be showing on camera is actually the 2020 repackaged version, and this one by the company Christian Dior is Dior Um Intense. Beautiful iris, Coco, it's smooth, it's sweet, it's a little floral, it's very romantic, sensual, and you have to have a level of confidence to pull this off, in my opinion. Gorgeous fragrance by Christian Dior. And again, this is my Close Encounter fragrance and it's Dior Um Intense. For my Close Encounters fragrance, I want something that's sexy, sweet, seductive, playful, this one really is underrated. I believe it's limited edition, so it's a little bit harder to find. But you could dress this one down to dressing it up. But for me, this really is sexy. It's playful. It's sweet. It's a little bit of a Playboy type of scent. But there's going to be Emporio Armani Diamonds Black Carrot for him. Szechuan Pepper, Cacao, Amber, Benzoin, Amber, Gayak Wood, and so on are the note breakdown here. So what you get is you certainly get that cacao, you get the gayak wood, you get the amber. It's just a sweet, playful, seductive, flirtatious type of scent. This is a going out scent too. So if you just want to go out to like on a, on a date, to a lounge, whatnot, this is a great scent for that. But for me, black hair diamond for him from Emporio Armani Diamonds is going to be my close encounter fragrance. And lastly, we are going to conclude with my signature fragrance. This is the fragrance that I want to be known by. This is the fragrance where if you smell it, you'll say, ah, Steven was in the room. I, there's just something really magical about this fragrance. I love it. I've been wearing it for many years, since 2015 actually, which is when I initially purchased it. And you have my word and my promise that when this bottle runs out, and I have a feeling it will within the next year or two, I will be repurchasing and this is, a stunning fragrance and it's by the company Guerlain and this is the Eau de Toilette version of L'Homme Ideal. The name translates to the ideal man. I think Guerlain is a company that is synonymous with quality. It is a French company. They've been around for a long, 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 long time. And this fragrance in particular has almond and cocoa. It's smooth, it's a little powdery. It has that accent of sweetness that is not overbearing. It's classic, it's masculine. It's very sophisticated smelling. And I think it's just a great all around kind of a fragrance. I do think it lends itself a little bit better for the colder weather, hence why it's making it into my fall starting lineup list. And I'm going to be wearing this a whole lot in the months to come. And for my signature scent, I want something that I could wear to work, close encounters, formal, and so on. 
This does not get a lot of mention. It's a sweet, playful, yet classy type of scent. And the, the company itself only has three fragrances. It's a fashion brand. Their fashion is not for me. Their, their shirts can be very colorful and I've posted pictures on Facebook about them and boy, the reactions I got. But their fragrances are stellar minus one. It's gonna be Robert Graham's Valor. Sage, coffee, and amber are the only notes to this one here. You get the coffee, which adds that playfulness. You get the sage, which adds that herbaceousness. Then you also get a sweet, resinous amber. This is just a great, underrated scent. It's, you could dress this one down to dressing it up. It's a very versatile fragrance. Robert Graham is very underrated. They're, they're very, they, they really don't get a lot of mention in the online fragrance community. They have three fragrances here. Valor, Courage, which is a summer fragrance, and they also have Fortitude, which is more of a colder season scent, and probably their most masculine one. I would say that this is their most playful one, and, and yeah. <laughs> this is just an underrated gem. So for my signature scent, I'm gonna go with Robert Graham's Valor. So those are my picks. Any reviews that I've done on them, they will be down in the description below, along with Steven's choices as well. I'm not gonna finish off the video, I'm just gonna let Steven. But if you like this video, guys, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Steven's link will be down below. Steven, I'm just gonna let you finish it off. Steven, also, before I do pass that torch off to you, I just wanna say thank you very much for doing the very video. Now, Steve, why don't you finish it off? There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much, Chad, for inviting me once more to be a part of this collaboration. I do apologize for speaking so much, but I'm very passionate about fragrances, and once you get me going, I can't stop. But Chad, you're a very dear friend to me, and I thank you so much for the years of friendship, and I look forward to the day when I can make it to Canada once more so that we can link up in person again. It's been quite a long time, my friend. I hope you're staying safe and well. All the best to you and your wonderful wife. And thank you once again for having me be a part of this video. Thank you, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.